Hello, my name is Chris Groff, and I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas. I work at KSAT, stands for Kruger School of Applied Technologies. In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to get started setting up App Inventor um, to run on your computer. Go to the link that I have on YouTube and click on Setup. And there's two steps to setting up your computer so that App Inventor will work. Number one, you're going to set up the computer installing Java. So if you click on this link, it talks about system requirements. You can look over the computer and the operating system for whichever one you have, whether it be Macintosh, Windows, or Linux. Make sure you have the correct operating system. And then make sure you're using an acceptable browser. So Internet Explorer 7, Google Chrome, Apple Safari or Firefox and make sure the version is the most updated. You're going to need to make sure that you have Java working and you can download it from java.com. Um, it says test your Java configuration by performing both, both of the following tests. So if you visit the Java test page, so I'm gonna and I'm using Windows XP and Google Chrome as my browser. So I'm gonna open this up and it'll come to this. It says, how do I test whether Java is working? And then it says, skip installation of the current version and test the currently installed version. So I'm going to click on this link. And it's, it says your Java is working. So I'm ready to go. It tells you the vendor, what version I have installed, and what operating system I have. I have all that, so I'm good to go. If you don't, click free Java download and you can install the newest version of Java. Java is what powers the emulator, which is the software um, that runs the programs on the phone. And I'm going to go back. So step one, setting up the computer. Step two is getting your phone to work with the emulator. I'm sorry, with App Inventor or using the emulator to run the app. So if you have a, an Android phone, you want to click on where it says set up your Android phone. And it gives you a list of different phones here. This is just a short list. There's a lot more. So it has the Google Nexus 1, Motorola Droid series. It's got the T-Mobile G1. It has a few HTCs. Uh, the Incredible, the Hero, and the Desire. The one I have is a Samsung Epic. And basically what you need to do is get the driver so that the computer will recognize um, which phone you have. And this is if you have Windows. So what I did was I went to Google and I typed in Samsung Epic Driver for Google App Inventor. Type that in, search for it. And the first thing that came up was a link for the uh, driver so I just downloaded that driver and my Epic works fine. The only thing you have to do after that is go into your phone settings and it walks you through here. It says check your settings. To get your phone ready to work with App Inventor you follow the steps. So you, you tap the home button, you tap menu, settings and then applications and if your phone has an unknown sources setting, you make sure it's checked. That way you can, all the applications that you make using Ga Google App Inventor, it'll open them on your phone. And then it goes tap development, so you're going to go under development, and you want to make sure USB debugging and stay awake are checked. And with this stay awake, I notice my battery drains a lot, so you may want to make sure that you have your screen turned off, because it won't turn off automatically and that's a bummer um, and then it says if your phone is on the lock screen unlock it as you would to get ready to run an app you get your USB ready and you connect your phone to the computer and then two status mes messages will appear on the phone it says USB connection means the phone is connected and the USB debug connection allows App Inventor on the computer to control the phone. And that's it. Now if you have the Nexus 1 or the Droid, you can click on these two links and get started or get finished up with those. And that's basically it. You have those two steps to set it up.
setting up the computer, and then setting up your phone.